So this lab is very easy to do, but it's really to demonstrate hands-on what exactly happens when we put monomers together, that is the building blocks of biomolecules, together to make polymers. And we're going to demonstrate this with the easiest of all the ones, the biomolecules to understand for putting them together would be carbohydrates. They're pretty simple. Glucose over here is probably the one that is the most important since, you know, your brain uses that and pretty much that's what, you know, plants make with photosynthesis. So it's important to really know this particular molecule. In the lab, it's going to ask you down here to see what elements you see up here. And I think you can easily see which elements are, are there. The other thing that's a little more difficult is number two. It says how many atoms of carbon are present in the molecule of glucose. And since it doesn't really show you outright on this picture, I'm going to show you where to look for it. Um, at every junction here, there's carbon, carbon. This is actually oxygen here. There's a carbon here, here, and here. Whenever you see that oxygen by itself, that means that there's no carbon there, okay, in that sugar. So, if we were looking at this, this would be one, two, three, four, five, and then this one up here is six. And you, you should remember from photosynthesis that, you know, glucose is going to be C6, H12, that's 12 hydrogen, and six oxygen. You can see that it's uh, the carbon and oxygens basically are half the number of what the uh, hydrogens are separately. Of course, together they make 12. I think you kind of see that. The same thing is gonna you're going to do here, you would actually look at that, and I'm going to let you figure that out, knowing that this oxygen doesn't have a carbon, and then this oxygen doesn't have a carbon. Moving on to the next part, disaccharides. This part of the lab is really where I want to bring you so you can understand what's going on with the dehydration synthesis. I've cut out the pieces here that you're going to do and basically before I actually cut them out I'm going to show you just one part of the fructose one just because I just happened to color it. These right here are just mainly to get you to see that there are these are the parts that are a little bit easier to remove from the uh, monomer. This monomer is fructose. Glucose has a similar situation where it has a hydrogen over there and it has a hydro, you know, hydroxide on this side. So you're you're looking at you're looking at similar structure from side to side. So the lab is going to ask you to take, let me get my scissors over here, to take the glucose and and it specifically says glucose. Ah, I'm gonna do a better job than that. I'm trying to do it where I can see it. There we go. And I'm gonna cut this off. My scissors down. Now, this is gonna be part of it. I'm not gonna cut this part off, and I'll tell you the reason why in just a minute. You'll see that. Uh, but on the fruit toast, it asks you to go ahead and just take the hydrogen off. So I'm just, t I'm t there's no magic to this uh, as far as like you figuring it out. I'm just telling you to do this. So don't think like, oh, you're supposed to know this. Uh, this is how we're going to make water. And you'll find out, you'll see real fast how that happens. So like a lock and key, the two areas that we took will fit together. Now, that's going to make the molecule sucrose. And you can label that in just a minute. In fact, in your lab, you're actually going to paste it in there. This student has already done so. And this picture here, uh, the fructose with it, with the glucose. And that is going to, you're going to actually label it and see the, the labels right there. And there it is. Now, I, I did color this. I don't want that to confuse you. It was just to show you the, the pieces. So don't, what you don't want to do is you want, don't want to cut these off because that would be, you would make that, that 
molecule not balanced anymore or not happy because it would be missing some some of its electrons at the at the outermost level. So these are these are happy because they've actually got enough electrons there and they're they're gonna stay together pretty well. And that's the table sugar you eat. The next part is to look at what you have left over. And hopefully you see that um, this is going to be H2O. And you can see there's two hydrogen to one oxygen. And that's H2O, which you hopefully know that that's, that's going to be water. So that's why this is called dehydration synthesis. You're, getting, you're taking water out of the molecule. What you're going to do with this is you're going to actually take this part of it and you are going to glue it on to the other side of the paper just like this. Now, I don't want to give too much away because I really like you to do this on your own and, and figure this all out. Right here, you want to look at the molecular formula of the sucrose, okay? And what you're going to have to do is you're going to actually have to add up all of the all of the atoms that you have for each one. So you're going to have to add up how many carbon you have, how many hydrogen, and how many oxygen. Now remember, you just all you really removed was the hydrogens, the two hydrogens, and the oxygen. So it, it should be really the sum of that number um, right here. And I'm hoping that you'll you'll be able to see what that is. You can actually write this out where you would write the the formulas, the molecular formulas there on the back. Okay. Next thing. There's another molecule you're going to build and because they're both going to be glucose you're not going to really worry about which ones you're going to cut off. There's going to be it could it could go one of each ways. The most important thing you don't the most important thing you do is don't cut off too many of these because you only can make one water when you when you put them together. There we go. And the same thing goes right here. And so you've, you've made a water. And this is again a disaccharide, di meaning two. And this is what's known as maltose. These two together. And you can answer the questions. They actually go to the next page right up here. Let me get the telephoto out. See, I'm being my own cameraman at the same time, so sometimes there's a little awkwardness. So there you can finish the questions there. Now, when you get to the polysaccharides part, this is where it gets a little tricky, um, but by that time you should be pretty good at, at hooking these together. Just know that you cannot, absolutely cannot, um, cut the ones away that you're not making connections with or what you're not putting together with polymerization. So when you cut these guys out, you're going to cut them all out and you're going to take it and you're actually going to make a big long chain of them. And it's pretty simple to do. It's ex doing the exact same thing you did earlier, only you're going to do more than one. I mean two. You're going to do like as many as you can fit on your paper. And you probably don't need all of these. I, I just wanted to make sure you had enough. And you're simply just going to cut them out. And there you go. You guys can figure out how to cut out paper. You've been doing it since before kindergarten. And cut each individual one out and make a big long chain. And I'll let you go with that. And that's going to go on the final page on the back where it says, ah, go into focus now. Well, how starches, um, cellulose, and glycogen are put together. Now, this is more of a generalization. Uh, I can tell you that th it isn't exactly how it's done. There's a little bit more to it because we have to make you know a structure that's more of a, a woven structure. 
but you get the idea that the dehydration synthesis is actually to put it together you actually get water so you get extra water when you put when you put um, molecules together to make your own starch in your body which you don't really do you actually make glycogen so we'll make sure we get that clear that's got to be really important glycogen humans and animals and starch plants and so forth if you have any questions, you can just email me. But just make sure that all the waters that you create, that you put, you should have like 10 or 15 waters on there to, to let me know that you understood what was going on there. Once we do this, you'll be able to answer the questions that are here and review the words, what mono means, what di means, what poly means, and then D means remove, hydrate. These are all things that you will be you will be tested on. So I think you'll you'll find that this lab will make it real easy for you. And that's really all I have for you. I don't uh, I don't want to give too much away. But again, email me if you have any questions. See ya.